what is going on everybody welcome back to RC car garage and today we are here with the F-150 build all right everybody so I know that I have told you all that this is a long-term winter project haven't done much to it. I uh, did do the interior. I am now finally starting putting the body on the chassis of this thing. And I did read in the comments somewhere that somebody said that it's going to be hard to get tires to fit this application perfectly. And I don't think so. I don't think so. Because the way that I'm looking at the stock tires of the Red Cat Gen 8 on here, I don't think it looks too bad. I don't think it looks too bad. So the tire is, let me show you guys. So here's what I'm talking about. So the tire is a 1.9, a 1.9 wheel, and the tire is from the bottom to the top, four and a half inches tall. I keep looking at it. I don't think it looks too bad. Now, the wheel whole wheel assembly does have to come out a little bit more well you can't really see it but <laughs> so if you guys can see well let me go this way so if you guys can see here the whole wheel does have to come out a little bit more so I will be getting some hex extenders wheel extenders to pull the wheel out some just like I did with the Hummer um, but I think if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments section uh, if I should go a little bit bigger. I don't want to go too much bigger to the point that I'm going to be rubbing on the body and I'm going to have to cut the body. Do not want to cut the body. want to leave the body the way it is. I don't want to cut more than necessary. Um, if you guys can see the Red Cat rear axle ends right here and I have to move it all the way over here. So from here to the middle here is four inches. So I gotta move the rear axle four inches towards the back. The issue that I'm having with that is the chassis for the Red Cat ends right there. And I still have all this room back here. So since the chassis ends there, I gotta move this axle back here I think you guys see where my problem is <laughs> from here to here so that's that's a pretty long way to go so that's four inches exactly to where I have to move it um, what I did was I ordered uh, chassis rails that I'm gonna attach here and extend it to the back so that way I can move this axle back here I as you guys can see I did not end up cutting anything with the bed again I did not cut the bed at all it is still all in one piece as you guys can see here all in one piece guys um, what I am gonna be doing suspension wise I got some cantilever I got cantilever suspension. I got cantilever shocks all laid out right here, which I ordered these on Amazon and I am very amazed of how these things came baggaged from Amazon, which I'm amazed. So here are the shocks. I think these are 70 millimeters. Doesn't say, but I think these are 70 millimeters. I do have other shots here that if I need them to be longer, then I can always make them longer. Not a big deal. But I ordered these off of Amazon and these will be getting put on the back here. So that way I don't have to cut into the bed to get the suspension to work because I want to keep the bed looking like that. Um, I know I made an update on the interior of it and there it is on the inside. So that little black mark right there, if you guys can see there's a seat belt 
that I fabricated, that I made, and that was basically glued on there. But when I decided to do the leather, I had to rip that off so I can put the leather on there. Because if you guys can see right there, that, <laughs> that whole piece of leather literally wraps from the front there all the way to the back and down. Let me go from back here. I can't see it. So it wraps all the way from the front there, around the top, down to the bottom down there. Uh, I did that with both seats up front. The rear is the exact same that I did. Uh, sorry about that glare. You guys can see it from here. Nope. So if you guys can see right where that seam is somewhat right there, I wrapped it around the top and then through the back and I just cut around there to put it in through that. Now, I'm really excited with the way this is turning out. Really happy to get this guy going. Uh, again, the rear lights, I ended up taking them off so I can paint this because I don't want to tape it. It'll just be easier to do like that the sunroof again everything that you're seeing right now with that right there like that and this piece right here this is just a mock-up guys <laughs> don't kill me right now it's just a mock-up and I'll be honest with you I'm kind of happy with the way this is coming out now let me know down in the comments section I believe that these tires not the tires but the setup 1.9 with the four and a half inch tall tires I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. It's going to fit the wheel well perfectly the way, it's, the way it sits right now. Um, let me show you guys what I had to do to get the body to fit on the chassis. I'm holding the camera. I'm holding the body with one hand, holding the camera with the other, guys. So as much as I did not want to cut the uh, anything here, I kind of had to. So I had to cut that area there, as you guys can see. Had to cut that and this area right here. I also had to cut in order to get all of this right here. Hold on, let me let me put the body down. So I had to cut that whole section on the body just because of this area here. So this drive shaft with the transmission here, uh, the body was actually, that part right there, this whole part right here that I cut out, was actually hitting all of this here, to the point that the floorboard was sitting on top of the drive shaft and I wasn't able to center the body correctly. Uh, the other thing I had to do on here, if you guys, anybody that knows the Gen 8s, what they look like, the battery tray that was sitting right there, gone. This box for the uh, transmitter, gone. ESC was sitting right here. I still have those two pieces there, gone. Had to take them off. Literally had to remove all of that in order to get the body to sit on here perfectly. Now, the other thing that I'm having an issue with is where I'm going to put the battery. So, let me show you guys what I mean. Alright, so how I have... It's probably not sitting on there, right? Man, it looks like it is. So, the way the body's sitting on here now, if you guys can see... It is basically pretty much sitting, just follow that line right there, it's pretty much sitting on there perfectly. Uh, the issue that I'm having is that underneath here, I don't really have much room, I don't really have much room in there to be able to get a battery in there anywhere. Um, I might, nah, I'm not going to have enough room in there. So in the front here, I'm not going to have room to put a battery anywhere in there. Nowhere in here am I going to have enough room to put a battery in. 
So what I'm thinking about doing is basically building a box. So right in here, what I'm actually thinking about doing is basically building a toolbox sort of thing and um, put the battery in there. The ESC will be around there inside the chassis somewhere with the battery coming in, connection coming out to here. And I might end up connecting the battery in here because I honestly do not have, I don't think I'm gonna have any room. I'm trying to see if I can get a good angle somewhere. I'm not gonna have any room under here, anywhere, to be able to put a battery. It's kind of hard to see with that piece on. So, with the way it is right back here, let me see if I can get a flashlight so I can shine back in here. So with the way everything is, I don't think I'm really going to have enough room anywhere in there to be able to put a battery in there. So my idea is to put a battery in there. I'm loving the way this is looking. I don't know if I'm loving the wheels, probably not. More than likely going to get different wheels. What I do have, which I've had these wheels for years. these pro lines which I'm not hating on them <laughs> um, I do have the axial rip saws I do have the axial 1.9 rip saws on here so as you guys can see I'm not lying they are the 1.9s oh here we go actually right there so they're the 1.9s not lying I have the 1.9s on a 2.2 wheel and I'll tell you what, I'm really not, I, I like this wheel, I really do. I really like this wheel, not hating on it. And I actually think it looks good on here. I just gotta get 2.2 tires. I think I, I think I wanna use these. Let me know down in the comment section, comment section if I should use these wheels on here or stick with the 1.9s. I think the 2.2s look better. It looks like the 2.2 wheels will fill up the wheel well better than the 1.9. I think the 1.9 kind of does look a little small for this. Definitely going to go 2.2s. But let me know in the comment section if I should stick with the Proline wheels or if I should buy different wheels for this thing. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> Like I said, this is a long-term winter project. I just wanted to give you guys, sorry. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I have been doing with this thing. Uh, it's getting there slowly, but it is getting there. So I hope that I went over everything that I'm going to be doing with this thing. Hope you guys are dying to see it finished as bad as I am. Uh, the only thing that's holding me back really is as I'm doing it, I'm figuring out what I'm going to need to get this guy finished. Uh, the one thing I know I'm definitely going to need is mounting. How am I going to mount the body on here? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, I'm thinking about using the posts that would have screwed into the plastic chassis that this guy came on. Thinking about using that and probably making something and using magnets, um, which I'm thinking about doing. Unlike the Hummer, I did the Hummer, I think the first time, the first time I ever built it, I think I used Velcro. Uh, this time when I updated it I actually had some body posts from HBI HPI crawler king that I basically flipped upside down and now the body clips are gone from the bottom connecting yeah so they're connecting underneath from on the chassis 
I also made my own chassis for that. So, since I saved time, because that's what I wanted to do with this, I didn't want to build another chassis with it. Even though I think that chassis for the Hummer came out pretty good. But I wanted to use the chassis that was already done. I wanted to get an RTR that was already done. Luckily, my friend Mark, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately got out of the hobby and he sold me his Gen 8. I already have a Gen 8 with my F-250 body. I think I have a picture. I'll post it up over here somewhere. And, or over here. Either way, it's go, it'll be up here. It'll be here somewhere. And, um... That's basically where I'm at with this thing. So, again, thank you for to Mark. I was looking at getting it wasn't an RTR, but it was a builder's kit, something builder's kit, and that was the route I was going to go. But I got lucky with this guy. It's a complete ready-to-run kit. All I got to do now is just add the body. It's going to take some work, but it's going to get done. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget, 500 subscribers, we are almost there. We are currently at 481 subscribers. Thank you all for that. 500 subscribers, five lucky subscribers are going to be getting stickers. So, tell your friends, tell everybody you know about the channel. Help me get to 500, starting off 500, five likes subscribers, going to get stickers, and I don't know what I was going to do with 1,000. So let's both figure it out together what I'm going to do at 1,000 subscribers. If you like the content, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video. You all keep our seeing.